Hey guys, it's AJ. It's Wednesday on the Beef for Brunch. Tomorrow is Valentine's Day. If you don't have a Valentine, don't worry. It's such a commercial holiday. You should love every day. But anyway, I came home and on my front porch was a package and inside of it was this fluffy gorilla and a box of candy from my girlfriend. So that was super, super sweet of her. And then I had to call and thank her and then be like, I'm not sending you flowers to work because one, she's a teacher. And then that teaches kids like you have to give flowers on Valentine's Day. And two, it was so expensive to send her flowers, I'd rather just spend the money on a gift. And I got her something nice, but I can't tell you because she's probably going to watch. So this week's topic was sent to us by Michelle. And I miss you too, Michelle, as your email said. Um, it's about traveling, which is ironic because that's all I've been talking about the last couple months is gay traveling. And being gay, does it affect where we, where we travel? And we, I'm using this as an umbrella term for everybody. Um, does it affect where we travel, how we act, and where we go? Well, being that I am the king of the butch lesbians, self-proclaimed, of course, um, I, I am a little careful on where I go and like how comfortable I am in public, but I can't hide it. I just, maybe I won't say hi back because it's like, whoa, you know? Um, <clears throat> I don't think there's a city that I can't conquer in this country being awesome, but there are, uh, cities in other countries that I probably wouldn't want to go to, um, because of how I looked <clears throat> or I wouldn't, um, I don't know. It would be really hard for me to go to some places being an, an outward lesbian as opposed to being, and I know you guys say that this isn't true, but being feminine, you do have that, um, advantage. You do have that for you because you could just go anywhere and pass and be gay and look at girls and it's awesome because you have that that option. Me, it's hard because I could either go and try to pass as a guy or go and be a lesbian and maybe get killed for just being gay. So it's hard. I, I've never traveled outside of the country anyway, so that hasn't really been a problem for me. <coughs> um, within the United States where I have traveled, I have traveled with girlfriends before and we hold hands. It's really, really obvious when you're with me that you're either my gay friend or my girlfriend. So, you know, we might as well just hold hands because who the fuck are we kidding, right? I mean, come on. Um, it was hard for me at first to, like, accept that people are staring, but I'm like, dude, I'm on vacation. Like, I'm going to have a good time and hold hands and do whatever I have to do to, do to, to have a good time. But there are places that I do want to go really bad. I re and I really want to go to Boston. And this is going to sound so stupid because I was on YouTube the other night. And you know how you watch one video and it goes to another video? I ended up watching time-lapse videos of um, the Nemo blizzard that went through. And it was in Boston. And I was like... Look at that city. It's really pretty and it's busy and I like that. So I want to visit Boston or the New England. Um, I really want to go to the country. I want to go to England. I'd like to go to Ireland and Greece and Portugal because I am Portuguese if you couldn't tell by this fair skin, blonde hair and blue eyes. Who knew, right? That's where I'd like to go. I know, I think every other beaver has been out of the country but me. And I think Jess is going out of the country soon. I think Lori has. Have you been anywhere out of the country? I'm pretty sure Lori has. She's well-traveled. Well, at least between Michigan and New York. Um, that's it. If you guys have any experience traveling to countries where they kind of look down on the gay people and travel there, I'd like to know how that went for you. Or did you try to wear a wig or try to, like, pass? Because I can't say I've done it. That's all. Lastly, guys, these are in stores. Cream eggs. My life is complete. I got candy and gorillas and Valentine's Day. And Survivor's on. I'm eight minutes late to it. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.